Research suggests that on average we have between 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day. The wide range is due to variation in thought patterns and how thoughts are defined and categorized. Some studies also suggest that as much as 70% of these thoughts may be negative or self-critical. 95% of those thoughts occur in our subconscious mind. So it is imperative to reprogram your subconscious mind to get rid of those negative thoughts and limiting beliefs. Stay tuned to find out how. Hello all you beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nidhi and in today's video we're delving into the extraordinary realm of reprogramming your mind to break free from the chains of limiting beliefs. Are you ready to unlock your full potential, shatter those barriers holding you back and step into a brighter, more empowered version of yourself? If so, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video from me. Now, let's get started. Limiting beliefs are negative or self-defeating thoughts and beliefs that hold individuals back from realizing their full potential and achieving their goals. These beliefs are deeply ingrained in the subconscious mind and can undermine self-confidence, create self-doubt and hinder personal and professional growth. There are three core beliefs that lead to all other limiting beliefs. According to renowned hypnotherapist Marissa Peer, the root cause of our limiting beliefs is one of the three fundamental beliefs, all of which stem from our unmet needs from childhood. So what are these three core beliefs? Number one is, I am different. There is nothing worse for a child than feeling different. Every child wants connection and fears rejection. They need to belong. When you feel like you don't fit in or you can't connect, you may begin to believe that you have to hide who you really are. Number two, what I want is not available to me. If as a child, what you wanted was unavailable, you will have had unmet needs. When a child needs to, when a child's needs go unmet, they're likely to develop a belief that their needs will not be met in the future. This forms the basis of the belief, it's not available to me. And the third belief is, I'm not enough. When a child's needs go unmet, beneath all the limiting beliefs they start to form, there will almost always be the same common denominator. I'm not enough. When you transform this belief, you transform everything because this is the belief which is at the root of almost everyone's issues. So now that we know what causes limiting beliefs in the first place, what can we do to actually fix them? Firstly, it is actually the awareness of the belief. Start by becoming aware of the specific beliefs that are holding you back. Recognize the negative thoughts and patterns that are keeping you from reaching your full potential. Acknowledge them. Name them. Awareness is the key to transformation. Build a growth mindset. This is perhaps one of the most important points in overcoming limiting beliefs. In case you haven't already noticed, uh, most of my videos that offer a solution to something always start with changing your internal diet. As a student of RTT therapy, which is a combination of hypnotherapy, CBT, NLP, psychotherapy, um, I have understood all too well that the answer to most of our problems lie within us. And we can learn to master our subconscious. And if we can learn to master our subconscious mind, we truly can achieve anything. Remember, every thought you think and every word you say forms a blueprint in that your mind, body and psyche work to make real. For example, if you are dreading a work presentation you need to give tomorrow, then at some level you're subconsciously telling yourself you're going to not do well. Um, guess what? Your mind gets that memo and lo and behold, you get a headache, an upset tummy or a panic attack just before the presentation so you're not able to give the presentation you're dreading. You see, after all, your mind is only doing what you asked it to do. So if you want to change your self-defeating or limited mindset, change your internal dialogue and think, I've got this, I'm excited to be doing this presentation or no one can do this presentation better than me because I'm so passionate about it. Remember, your mind does what it thinks you want. 
So you better start telling your mind extraordinary things if you want an extraordinary life. Change the emotions attached to each limiting belief. Our mind's one job when we come onto the planet is to keep us alive so we can have a long life. And it does so by keeping us away from anything that causes us pain. You eat something that makes you sick, you never eat it again. You touch something that hurts you or burns you um, and that memory is imprinted in your mind for the rest of your life. So you're always careful. Ever met someone who says I was chased by a dog when I was five and I'm 45 now but I'm still terrified of dogs? Now put this in context of your limiting belief. Let's take an example. If um, you're overweight and you believe you cannot lose weight no matter how hard you try and the thought of even going to the gym to exercise fills you with panic. You're now telling your mind that exercising is pain. So of course your mind will do everything to keep you away from it. But see what happens if you change that emotion from pain to pleasure. Next one, believe that average human is capable of unbelievable improvement. Throughout history, we witnessed remarkable transformations. Take, for instance, Abraham Lincoln, whose journey from a log cabin in the backwoods to the presidency of the United States is a perfect example of, of incredible human improvement. His early life was marked by poverty, limited formal education and numerous setbacks, but he never stopped. He never stopped believing in his potential to grow and lead. Similarly, J.K. Rowling, the renowned author of the Harry Potter series, um, she faced numerous rejections and personal struggles before her book became a global sensation. Her journey highlights how the average person can achieve extraordinary success through perseverance, self-belief and continuous self-improvement. Belief in the potential for remarkable improvement must be accompanied by the willingness to invest the necessary effort and time. Let me explain. Let's say I want to become a skilled artist despite having minimal drawing abilities. Um, I might observe others who are more skilled at drawing than me, creating stunning paintings effortlessly and feel discouraged. However, reprogramming the subconscious mind involves recognizing that the limitations aren't set in stone. With the right mindset and perseverance, even somewhat mid minimalistic artistic talent, me in this case, can evolve into a proficient painter. The key is understanding that the limitation lies not in one's inherent ability, but actually in the readiness to dedicate the required time and energy. If you're willing to put in the effort, practice consistently and keep the faith in your potential for growth, you can surprise yourself um, with your progress over time. This principle is a fundamental aspect of overcoming limiting beliefs. Seek evidence to the contrary. You see, limiting beliefs often thrive in the absence of opposing proof. Take the example of an individual who doubts their ability to excel in public speaking due to a past failure. By intentionally seeking instances where they have effectively communicated or delivered a speech without faltering, they begin to accumulate evidence that challenges their limiting belief. This process encourages the subconscious mind to revise its narrative. As evidence of past successes in public speaking accumulates, the person's confidence now grows. Over time, they not only overcome their initial fear, but also become a skilled and confident speaker. The key is actively seeking out these counterexamples to disprove your own limiting beliefs, reminding your subconscious mind of your potential for success. Visualization. This topic is so fascinating that I could perhaps dedicate a whole video to it. But let's talk about this briefly for now. Visualize your success. Paint a vivid mental picture of your life without those limiting beliefs. Remember your mind responds to the images you create. Let me give you an example. Imagine someone who's stuck in a job they don't find fulfilling and they hold a limiting belief that they'll never progress in their career. To overcome this belief, they can use visualization. In a quiet space, they can close their eyes and picture themselves excelling in their field. They can visualize receiving a promotion, having their own office or cabin um, and leading important projects. They imagine the recognition and praise they receive from their superiors and colleagues. 
this detailed mental rehearsal begins to shift their self-perception. It instills confidence and ambition. With the subconscious mind now gradually accepting the idea of career advancement, they can become more open to opportunities for skill development, networking, and taking on challenging projects at work. This newfound confidence and belief in their ability leads them down a path towards achieving their professional aspirations. Visualization becomes the catalyst for tangible career growth. Visualization is a versatile technique that can be applied to various aspects of life, from personal growth and relationships to overcoming fears and achieving success. It's all about creating a mental blueprint of your desired outcome, empowering your subconscious to make those visions a reality. Number seven, surround yourself with positivity. Do not underestimate the power of surrounding yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. Seek out mentors, coaches or supportive friends who can help you challenge and overcome your limiting beliefs. After all, you are the company you keep. Remember, reprogramming your mind takes consistent effort and practice. Be patient with yourself and celebrate each small victory along the way. With dedication and perseverance, you can let go of limiting beliefs and create a mindset that supports your personal growth and success. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from it. Keep believing in yourself. Until next time, take care.